Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to create this learning map for your students to further gamify your courses. So in this learning map, you will see that there's pulsating buttons or places, we call it. And you'll see that there's a path that the students need to follow to the next set of activities. So once they do this activity, it will be marked as checked. They move on to the next activity and complete the path. Now the background can be any background, so you can use your creativity, but I'll show you how you can create these learning maps and how to link it to activities. Once the student clicks on this, they can go to that particular activity and I'll also show you how to use the backlinks to actually go to the learning map again. So let's get started. First, we need to install the plugin from the Moodle's plugin directory. So let's head on over to moodle.org, go to plugins, and then in your search box, type in learning map. You can either press enter on your keyboard or click on the search icon. If you scroll down, you'll see there's my learning map and there's also a learning map format. Okay, so we'll focus on learning map. I'll open this, go to the correct version that I'm downloading. I'm on 4.5, so I'll download this one. And once it's downloaded, I'll go to Site Administration, Plugins, and then Install Plugins. Now let's grab the plugin that we've just downloaded. Click Upload this file, and then let's install the file from the, let's install the plugin from the zip file. I'll click on Continue. Scroll down to where you can click on continue again and then we upgrade Moodle database now. Here you'll see the plugin name and then we click on continue the final step and that's it. Everything else you can leave on its default. If you want to allow automatic backlinks, you can leave this check. I'll leave this check for now, but we can uncheck it later on. So I'll click on save changes. And once that is done, we can go back to our course. I'll close this tab, go back to my course. I'll just refresh this. Now, once that plugin is installed, we are ready to use it. So let's turn editing on. I'll scroll down to where I want to add it. So I want to add it here in the welcome section. So I'll just scroll down and click on add an activity or resource. I'll then find the plugin that we've just installed and we know that it's the learning map. So I'll click on that. And once you click on that, you must give it a name. So I'll call this my learning map. I'll scroll down and now you will be presented with this area here. We can give it a description, but for now let's leave that blank and I'll uncheck this so that it doesn't display on my course page. If I leave this checked, I can add a description here and it will end up, it will show up on my course page. I'll uncheck that. Now for the learning map, you have places, you have states, and then you have paths, as well as the settings. And we'll go through each of these. You'll see that the places, they are marked in red. The visited states, they are marked in green and the paths, they are marked in white, but you can change these colors by clicking on the color and then selecting a different color. More on that later on, you can click on the color, select a different color, okay? Then show map on the course page. Yes, I want to show the map and then show backlinks on the course module pages. I'll leave this checked as well. Now we need to upload a background image. Remember the image that I've showed you, so I'll just upload that image. Choose a file and there's my image. I'll just upload that. So there's my image uploaded. Now the idea is they'll start with module 1. Go to module 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and then they complete the whole course. So to add an icon here, or any place, you just double click on any area and you'll see that there 
you you can move the dot around and this becomes your starting area okay so you can place it anywhere in the uh, on this image that you've uploaded on the background image so when you right click you'll see that there's a starting place and then there's a target place okay so the starting place will be that and now you can select activities where they need to start if you want them to start this is module one so they will start here in module one so i have a pretest there and a post test there i want them to start with a pretest and once that is done and selected you can click anywhere in this area here and it will show you that there is the first starting point the next one will be in module two so let's just double click that so there's my module two and then right click and then this isn't my starting place this isn't my target place i can select from module two what they need to complete in module two so i'll select the practical assessment click away and there's my second marker then my third one i can double click i can right click and then select from module three what they need to complete this also a practical assessment click away and then they jump to module four so i'll do this in right click and then go to module four this is module four also the practical assessment click away and then module five I'll just grab it right click module four module five they need to do the practical assessment and then for module six here they need to do the exam so for module six they need to do the practical exam and this is also the target place i can click away so now all this is my learning plan okay if i click on save now save and display you'll see there's my background image but you can only see one starting place so where's the other areas that i need to visit so let's go back click on settings so you'll see that we've already placed it but it's not showing now this is where the gear icon comes in okay you can click on the gear icon and now it says it asks you do you need to hide paths no hide stroke for places no check mark for visited places yes pulse animation for unvisited places i'll check this hover animation over places i'll check that show all paths and places i'll check that show activity names now you can show the activity names but i'll usually leave this unchecked reveal map with places uncheck and highlight highway and we can either check this or uncheck it if you click on the gear icon again now you'll see nothing happened but when you click on save and display you'll see now you can see the actual dots that's the starting point and that's my uh, endpoint or target area so let's go back to settings now let's play with the colors so if you don't want red so let's say you want a greenish color you can select green click away and now or every dot that you've placed there will become green also the visited states you can select and let's say this is red you can select red the color and this will become red when you visit this area or you do the activity now how this works is when they click on the dot do the activity when they finish the activity this will become the color visited and also a check mark the same for everything else now the path if you click on this and let's say we do a bluish path so let's go with blue i'll click away so now when you want to show the path you can click on the first area and then select the second area and now you'll see there's a path then the second one and the third one there's the path third one and the fourth one fourth one and the fifth one 
and then the fifth one and the last one there and then from there the path ends okay so if we save this now so now you'll see that there it's pulsating when they finish this they can move on to this this will become visible for them and they can do that activity but they can't do this activity now they first need to finish this one and then they can move along the path to the module 6 so let's go back to the settings now you will notice that when we click on the gear icon you'll see that there is height paths and height strokes a stroke for places if you select this click away and then save you'll see that the strokes here around the buttons are removed as well as the paths are removed so if you uncheck those two it will appear again for me it looks nice so i'll leave it i'll uncheck hide paths and then uncheck hide strokes for places so if i uncheck that you'll see that that uh, the strokes uh, return also you can select the show names of activities if you select this you'll see the names of the activities appear but if you have long names for activities this doesn't be, look so nice so i'd rather uncheck that there's also a function for reveal map with places if you check this go back and save it you'll see now that you see the image and it's basically masked out and as you do the activities you it will reveal part of the map until you see the whole or the complete map i don't like this so i'll go back to settings maybe you like it and you can keep it but for me that's a no so i'll uncheck that reveal map with places so that's it i'll click on save and display and there's my map so once a student clicks on the particular activity they can go back you'll see that there's the activity they can do but they can this is the back link so they can click on the back link and it will take them back to the particular learning map now you can have more than one learning map in a course so i can have in this area another learning map for this section um, it all depends on you let's go back to the plugins and let's go back and back one more so under the learning map you'll also see the learning map format so let's look at that so this is basically changing the format of the whole course so I'll download the correct version. I'll download that. Go to my course. I'll go to site administration. Go to plugins and then install plugins. Now the learning map works independently, but if you want the format as well, we can install it. Install plugin and then continue just go through the installation process upgrade Poodle database now continue okay there we go so let's go to our course let's just refresh and then we go to settings we'll scroll down to where it says course format and i'll just change this to the learning map format and once i change that it will ask me hide secondary navigation for students you can either check or uncheck that under appearance you can leave it as is so let's click on save and display and you'll see nothing happened it's the same course but now once you turn editing off you'll see that you only see the learning map and all the other things or all the other activities are hidden and the students can click on the first link it will take them to the activity they can do the activity but you can click on the back links and it will take you to the learning map you can also select under course go to settings 
You can also select under appearance the any other theme. But here in course format, you can select hide secondary navigation for students. If you click on save and display, you'll see that there's my learning map. If I go into this as a student, so let's just access it as a student. So this is what the student will see. They won't see any navigation here. They will only see the learning map. They can click on this, it takes them to the activity, they can go back, they can go to the second one, third one, until they complete the whole, all the activities within the course. And now it's a nice and clean area here, no distractions, they can just do the activities and complete the course. Okay, so let's return to our normal role. And that's all for learning maps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And please enjoy creating learning maps because this is just another feature of gamifying your courses for your students.